Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another Rekara James YouTube video. Now in this video, we're going to talk about something that's very, very important to us. And that is, of course, Wi-Fi. A lot of times we have to deal with, you know, crappy Wi-Fi service. We're browsing, streaming, messaging, watching a YouTube video, something, and we just have to deal with this crappy service. Now, I'm going to show you how to create an extender or a repeater using the DDWRT firmware. So you don't have to go out and get a new device that costs hundreds of dollars. You can pretty much use an old router you have lying around somewhere and convert this in a repeater using the DDWRT firmware. I've used this on many occasions, more than one occasions, and it has worked tremendously for me. In fact, this is what I'm on now. I'm using an extender, an extender right now to amplify or extend the Wi-Fi services inside my home. So I'm going to show you how to get it done. It's pretty quick, simple and easy. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to be quick about this. Now, there's going to be a few things you need to write down to get started. Um, first, you're going to log into your main router and um, take note of these settings. Your channel that the router is broadcasting on, the exact name of your Wi-Fi network or your SSID, the current wireless security mode, so whether it's WEP, WPA or WPA2, your wireless broadcast mode, so BGN or BGN. You're going to also make note of your Wi-Fi password the exact um, case and whatever. And um, oh yeah, you're gonna also make note of your LAN IP, the LAN IP of your main router. Next, you're gonna do a Google search for DDWRT. And then you're gonna select router database. Now, when that's up, you're gonna search for your brand and model router. The one you're gonna use as a repeater, of course. And then you're going to find the latest firmware and download those files. Now, when all that's done, you're going to fire up your router, fire up your repeater, um, or the router you're going to use as a repeater, and head to the administration tab where you look for the option firmware upgrade. Now, you're going to search for the DDWRT file you just downloaded, and then you're going to click upgrade, update, or whatever it is that's there to start the flashing process. All right, so after all this is done, your router should be rebooted. If not, you're going to reboot and your new DDWRT firmware is loaded on the device. You will now have to enter a username and a password to get started. For me, I just use admin for both, for both the username and password and just get it over with. So. You've downloaded the DDWRT firmware, you've loaded it onto your device, and everything you did up until that time was the hard part. So, here's the easy portion. Once you're in, you just need to focus on these tabs. Setup, wireless, wireless security, advanced routing, services, and security. Sounds like a lot, but in each tab, all you're going to be doing is just checking a box or just selecting an option. Nothing much. Now, remember those settings that you um, documented from your main router. It's time for them. Go to the wireless tab first and for wireless mode, select either repeater or repeater bridge. I normally go for repeater bridge. Why? All right. The ports on the repeater are made active when you select repeater bridge. So if you want to plug in a device, like say a TV box or whatever, you will still get internet connection to the box. If you select a repeater by itself, then those ports will be dead. They won't be functional. All right, so next, um, make the wireless mode the same as your main router. So if it's broadcasting on BGN, then make the repeater BGN are mixed. For the wireless network name or the SSID, give it the exact name as your main router. So the exact case, spacing, everything should be the exact same. Then choose the very same channel that your main router is broadcasting on. Save that and then click, well, click save. Don't click apply just yet, just click save. 
Now, you're gonna go to the wireless security tab and you're gonna select the very same security mode that your main router is on. So if it's using WPA2 AES, select the same for your repeater and use the same wireless password. After that's done, you're gonna head over to the setup tab. Now remember the IP address that you um, saved from your main router. Choose an IP address in the same subnet for your repeater. Now, for example, here my router is using the IP address 192.168.0.1. So I'll use something like 192.168.0.10 for the repeater. For the gateway and the DNS portion, you're going to put in the same IP address as your main router in both sections. Then you're going to save this. So remember, don't click apply just yet, just click save. Then the rest is even easier. Now you're going to go to the advanced tab and you're, well, advanced routing tab, sorry. And it, you're going to change the, the, you're going to change the mode to router. So it should be saying gateway or something else, whatever it's saying. You're going to select router. You're going to save and then you're going to move to the service tab, services tab, and you're going to disable DNS mask. You're going to save that, move on, head over to the security tab, disable everything except filter multicast, and then you're going to move back to the top where you see SPI firewall and you're going to select disable. Now you're going to save this and then you can apply settings and reboot your repeater. Alright, so now that you have your repeater configured, you can use a tool such as um, Wi-Fi Analyzer. So for Android users, Wi-Fi Analyzer, you can use this to test out how well your repeater is doing, test out the signal levels and so forth. If you don't have an Android device, not to worry, you can use um, your PC and use Wi-Fi Insider or Insider. Insider. You can use the um, program Insider to also check the same thing just as how you'd use Wi-Fi Analyzer. Alright, so it's not just over yet. What you're going to do now is to put your repeater in a position where it communicates effectively with your main router. If not, you may find that the speeds from your repeater are slow. So you want to get that, you want to get that repeater in the superb position where it communicates effectively with your main router and the speeds are not impacted. So if when you do your speed test, you find out that the speed you're getting is not quite sufficient, you may just want to move your repeater around a bit to another position until you get a better, until you get better speeds or better connectivity between your router and your repeater. Make use of speedtest.net, make use of Wi-Fi Analyzer to do a few more checks. Um, when this is all done, you won't need to continuously do this again. It's just done. You just place your repeater in this position and your speeds, everything should be quite okay. Now guys, I hope this helped somebody out there. I hope that you can use this method to increase or improve Wi-Fi signals in and around your